Hey guys, another review. This one's on the Halo Reach Series 1 Grunt Ultra, who is very... He looks like ice cream. He doesn't taste like it, but he looks like ice cream. Like his coloring. That whitish with that grayish ice creamy color. It's like, uh... Like ice cream. Looks like ice cream. See? Anyway, this is the Grunt Ultra. He is basically the Grunt Miner with little different stuff. Basically Grunt Miner! Except for a few things. His leg does not fall off. Well, as much as this guy does. He has a different weapon. And this weapon, if you saw my last review, this weapon was a pain to get in his hand. This one's not because of the, the way the gun is made. Instead of having... Yeah. Yeah. Instead of having yeah, instead of having to fit it in through the side like that, it's open right here, so you can just slide it in through the top. That makes getting into his hand so much easier. So then you can take it out and do stuff. And I haven't tried putting it in his left hand, but I can. I I I I I, I assume you can put it in his left hand. Um. Another thing is his backpack is different. He has these weird. Tentacle things, I'll show you later. And he has two masks. This one, which is like the outer mask. And his regular mask. Oh. Excuse me. And then you can put his outer mask on without the regular mask, because that just looks kind of awkward. There's his ugly grunty face. Mask, which has a chin slot that goes into his chin, so like how it was in the old days when you put it in the mouth. Mask just slides on, clicks on top. And the backpack is different. Oops. The backpack. And here are those little things I was talking about. Like little, I don't know. Thing is, I think there's little holes right there for these things these points can fit into. When I try to fit them in, it blocks the backpack from going on. What I do is I put the backpack on and then I try to just squish them in as much as I can to the sides of the backpack. I don't understand what those little holes are for. Someone please tell me. I'm about to go crazy over this flavorful little grunt. And... Of course he's the same height as the other grunt. Comes with three plasma grenades, which I think the miner came with only one. And he still has no peg holes, even though he came, except he came with the peg. Goes in just the middle of the gun, which is kind of weird, I thought. I don't know. But whatever. Also, the uh, weapon is a lot bigger. Um, I would, but I'm too lazy to show a size comparison. Too so, too bad for you. Too so bad. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think you can change backs on the grunts. I know you can put his other mask on top of him. Not sure about backpack swapping it. Goes here, goes here, goes. Yes. But I don't think that this one could go in there because those weird things again tentacles. Oh, yes it does. You can have all sorts of different grunts. Yippee. Overall, this guy is just pretty much like any other grunt. You know, he's probably going to get rare, especially since he's the first series. Um, so I suggest you buy him. He looks delicious. And... They don't have as much problems as they did in Halo 3, which was a pain. So that's all I really have to say about him. You know, he might not have any peg holes, and he might have weird-looking stumpy feet. And long arms. But still, he's awesome. And... 
And it was really cheap for me because I got him free. Oops. Free. Well, kind of free. I got him as a Christmas present from Bionicle Raptor. He comments on a lot of my videos, so. Hey, Raptor, if you are out there, comment on this. Alright, that's all I have to say. Uh, goodbye now.